Greetings. Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you can find it. To those who continue to come back and support this channel, much obliged. I appreciate you. Um, briefly, I want to speak on just loving someone the essence of that person and then when they pass away or when they take when they are taken away from you deliberately how much you grieve how much so much of you is just diminished and so when you hear about wars I don't know if you could say that in the first minute but I don't have many followers so they, they shouldn't care what I say but they were speaking of how Britain, when they ruled over India, how 150 million of them were unalive. That's the word they like you to use. But taken away. And you know, that's just a number. And just think about all the other places all over the globe. If you have a globe or a map, you can point everywhere. And millions, hundreds of millions have been taken away because of WAR. People's loved ones, people who have essence, who people who have not lived out their lives. 20, 21, 22, 30, 40 years old. And they don't even know why. Neither do the family. And those that set all this up, because it's automatic now for our females, because they're not even women yet. 18 years old, you're not a woman yet. You're still a child. And you, I suggest that they must have a world, thorough world history class. To be educated of world history and all the WARs before they sign up. Have knowledge. Be, don't go in there half cock, as the old folks would say. Have knowledge of what you are getting into. It may be utterly against you, but so many people in this and what they have it going on now is that the, these foreigners can enlist and then that brings their family over to be citizens. And then our people, they're just hot, tired of being in the hood or the ghetto or just need some benefits or just, just looking for something, think they're going to go and be educated and you're not because you're going to work hard and then there's no time for school. They work you hard in there. Now, if you go in with your associate degree and then go in, then you'll go in as a, with some titles and maybe they'll allow you to go to classes. But just going in as a book private. But these are our loved ones. That's what I'm trying to get to. People that we love. And people that sitting behind a desk with suits and ties, just, they automatically now, they don't have to go and register. It's automatic. They follow in suit with their sister over in the other land over there. They're doing it now with the those that wear the hat and the curly hair. They making them endless and it's holy hell over there right now they protested but they refused to fund their education of, of going to school unless they well they going to it's a mess but these are our children but getting back to the essence of how much we love our people how much we miss them we grieve when they leave this earth 
even when we love someone and, and chasing them all over town, trying to find out who they sleeping with after they done left you, that love that can't that make you do that shit, that love that make you take people out of here, that crazy sick love too. But when you when they leave, they take all of that with them, and there are no two people in this world, even if you are twin, no two people ever are alike. Isn't that amazing about us? This life here is so amazing. Even those twins' fingerprints are different. There'll never be another you. And they think it's just so easy to say 150 million here. 100 and, and uh, um, 200 million were annihilated in this useless WAR. That's, that the regular people don't even know that is going on. A lot of these WARs were, ne were never declared in Congress. This is what I'm hearing. They just going about doing them. Again, why they giving us these toys to play with. Now we're preoccupied with what? What's going on now? The, the debates. They talking about that. And what else they talking about right now? While they doing all this other stuff. I bet a lot of people didn't even know that they automatically assigning your daughters, your children, 18 years old, that's a child. And these children today are not like they were in the uh, 60s and the 50s. They were more mature back then. Yes, they were. So you really have some children down. They, can, they don't even know what seven times three is. And they're gonna draft them into something that they know nothing about. So, oh, it's kind of sad because, but that's what's going on. What planet are we on? That that's all that they think about, you know? And then WAR is not like what they show us on these um, videos. Um, you just see the uh, WMD dropping and that's it. You don't see, but now they showing you a little bit, but it's not like that because I even, said to myself they they blowing up cemeteries aren't they where your loved ones have been buried i thought about that if they are carpet b-o-m-b-i-n-g then they blowing cemeteries libraries schools hospitals but nobody is speaking about sudan ethiopia somalia it's just all over the place essence of people's souls are leaving here not a number not 250 million but they have a name they have children they have relatives that love them and they just snatch them out just like that you know how you feel when your child passed away in a car accident or most likely when somebody gunned them down So, and then they want to just take your child. It, it, they don't even know why. They don't get a chance to say yay or nay. But I'm going to end. Thanks for tuning in to Channel Peace if you could find it. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe.